Officially weighing in at 256 and one half pounds. In 1998, he captured Olympic gold and now, as a professional, he has a record of 40 victories, including 31 knockouts against two defeats with one draw. And by way of rematch, he is one of the few fighters in boxing history to have defeated every opponent he has ever faced. From London, England, the linear, legitimate, universally recognized, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis. Okay, gentlemen, I've given you instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. Listen to my commands. Shake hands and await the bell. Good luck to both of you. Now, Lennox Lewis' body is dry. What As about Vitaly, George? No winner. But Lennox Lewis, the champion who has the tendency to be cold as, as it is, his body is dry. And, and Klitschko doesn't look all that much better warmed up That's than Lennox. That's true. That's true. I don't know what that will mean, but I do know that this fight as an event was upgraded from business class to first class when Klitschko became a part of it. Will it be upgraded as a fight? He entered to the strains of the Eagles Hotel California. So will it be heaven or will it be hell? For Vitaly Klitschko, most critics think it will be hell. And they look like John L. Sullivan and James J. Corbett before Lennox comes forward and lands the right hand. Lennox Lewis is not an effective aggressor. He likes to catch you missing him and catch you with one. And he's not jumping around. He likes to jump in and out. Although no his football. trainer, Emmanuel Stewart, insists, George Foreman, that when faced with taller fighters, he has gone forward and been the aggressor. That's one of the things Emmanuel expects tonight. That's not his stuff. He likes to bounce. He just did a little bounce there. Both guys are getting low. No one is taking advantage of the height. Break, break, break clean. Get him going. Let and both are fighters who tend to use their height to their advantage and fight behind the high guard. Vitaly trying to land a looping right hand over the top. Lewis doesn't believe that Klitschko can improvise. Believes that Klitschko must be set up and in position to have a chance to land punches. You see, when two tall guys get in the ring, it calls for a lot of clutching because nobody has room to move out of the way. One move and they're together. Klitschko is being much more aggressive than uh, experts thought he would be. It was thought that he would try to fight a more tactical fight. Let's go with the right. Lewis misses with the left. Let's go pawing with his punches, but throwing punches as Lewis has not gotten his jab going early. Lennox Lewis throughout his career has been indomitable when throwing more than 30 jabs per round. He's not going to reach 30 jabs in this round unless he speeds up the pace. George, why is Klitschko holding his left so low? Well, Lennox Lewis is not standing so high, as you see. They both start squatting after a while. When a guy's hand are that high, you just got to bring him a little low. Hard right hand by Klitschko, best punch of the round. Lennox Lewis is doing the old catching. He's standing right in the middle of the ring and using his shoulders now to catch shots. Now there's a good jab by Lewis to back Klitschko off. Another little right hand inside by Vitaly. And again, Lewis That's the, jab. Backward. That's the jab that you've been waiting on. Lennox Lewis is starting to get a little effective with. And he's starting to get warmed up is what's really happening, George. Not so tentative anymore. Two good jabs by Lewis. Now there's a looping right hand that misses big. Vitaly Klitschko is going to wear. Trainer Fritz Fedunik will be speaking German. Our interpreter is Jens Halling. You are too close to him. Don't get too close to him. Stay away. Your punches are really good. 
nicht beweglich sein. Move more. Nicht mit Gewalt reinfallen immer. Don't get too close oh, to him. Okay. So you hit him really, really good. Sehr, a couple of times. But you're putting a lot of pressure on him. He's not used to fight that much. Okay. You're breathing heavy. Yeah, he's not used to fight this type of pressure. Just keep the pressure on him. He's out. He's in your battlefield. Just keep the jab. Jab is working good. Did he hit him good? A looping left that didn't work, but a right that did. That second right hand, probably the most effective punch of a round in which, by CompuBox numbers, Klitschko threw 73 punches, landed 23. Lewis, 18 out of 39, got his jab going late in the round, as you saw. And now Lewis begins to jab Klitschko backward again. Klitschko has got to get back and just counter that right, that jab, one time. Hard right hand landed by Klitschko, Lewis holds on. Just counter that left jab, because Lewis is throwing it out there, but he's dropping it low. Make him afraid to throw it if you're Klitschko. Make him afraid of it. This is a far cry from the Lennox Lewis who did a paint job on Mike Tyson in Memphis last year. He doesn't yet look sharp as he did in that fight. Well, he's got a different... Left hand lands for Klitschko. Lewis momentarily stunned by the little left. No, 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 no. I think that Lewis is quite surprised at the aggression of Klitschko. And Klitschko trying to launch the right hand again. This time, Lewis partially blocks it. Lewis just hasn't, just can't seem to wake up. You come in the ring dry. You catch a lot of shots before you can wake up. But this Klitschko guy, the fight is his. All he has to do is reach out and get it. With awkward short arm shots, he's beating Lewis to the punch. He rips him again with the right hand. Lewis momentarily wobbles. And now Lewis is still wobbly as the telly goes after him. He landed a really stiff, straight right hand that wobbled Lewis. Maybe Lewis knows what he's in with now, but it may be too late. Combinations for an increasingly confident Vitaly Klitschko. Great right hand again. Now this is what a fight could tell off on Klitschko because that's a big heavy man he's pushing around. You throw those kind of heavy shots and you get tired yourself. Big left hand by Klitschko. Lewis wobbling again. Suddenly it looks as though Lennox may have made a fateful decision in choosing to take this fight with only two weeks notice. Hard left hand by Lewis stops Klitschko in his tracks. That changes the flow. You can bet Emmanuel Stewart's going to have a lot to say to Lennox if he can make it out of this round. Klitschko trying to land that right hand one more time. Lewis ducking and stumbling. They trade big right hands. Lewis gets the worst of it. This is Gary Ward on the highest level on the scale. Now all of this clutching and holding is going to have an effect on Klitschko. That man is heavy, Lennox Lewis. And Lennox Lewis, his left eye is beginning to swell, and there may be blood under the eye. Vitaly Klitschko is wrapping Lennox Lewis up as the second round begins to come down the stretch. There's a big rope over the eyes of Lewis, who staggers back to the corner. He's winning the fight. You've got to take it to him now, okay? You've got to experience in these big fights. You're getting hit setting out here trying to time them. Take it to him now. The left hook is working good. Just take it to him, and when you get through with every punch, put push at him. You understand? You have to cross the line. You have to box faster. You almost got him. You did it very, very well. You almost got him. Here's the big punch that changed that round. A straight right that got under the left of Lewis, it seemed. Lennox Lewis said that he didn't see any skill level in Klitschko. He's seeing something now. Lennox Lewis walking unevenly to the middle of the ring. As he goes after Klitschko, just as Emmanuel Stewart told him to do.
using the roughhouse tactic, rough house tactics that we might have expected him to use. Someone is bleeding pretty good there. Lennox Lewis under the left eye. And now Vitaly bleeding by the left eye as well. And Vitaly's cut is over the eye. Triple jab by Klitschko and a right hand to follow. Lewis can't stop him. Big right hand by Lewis. There has never been a heavyweight championship between big men with this kind of intense action. Big left hook by Lewis, and another. Doesn't throw it all that often, landing both of those. Boy, that cut is bad. That cut is bad. This throw is hurt. And he lands a huge right hand on Lewis. If he can just continue, he can win it. Long way to go in round three. Both One right hand. Been hurt a lot. Left hook by Klitschko. Lewis again with a left hook over the top. Now he begins to jab away at Klitschko's badly damaged side. Swinging right hand. It's just a pier six brawl in there, guys. Lance, who do you have in your corner to work on your eye? He can win this if he doesn't stop by the eye. Too much blood coming out of the eye. So far. Lewis has yet to land his big right hand. When will it come? Will it come? I think Lewis has taken the hardest shot. Big jab, forces Vitaly back. And now a hard right hand by Klitschko stops Lewis's rush. But Lennox Lewis has ended the fight now and much steadier on his feet than in the first two rounds. It's that blood, he see the blood and he's not gonna be deterred now. Once you see an eye like that. He got the two best cut men in the sport in the eyes of many here. Joe Souza will be working on Vitaly Klitschko. He has saved Arturo Gatti's career several times. Al Gavin will be working on Lennox Lewis. Lewis, if you ask me, he's just not in shape. No, 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 please, please. He entered the fight not in good shape. 10 seconds, guys. So 256 meant what it sounded like. A complacent Lennox Lewis once again, but fighting his way into the fight, and Vitaly Klitschko's left eye is ripped up. Okay, we're calling time out to look at the cut. Wow. Can you go forward with that? Can you no with that? way. We have more time with all time out. Ring doctor in Vitali's corner is Paul Wallace. That's a horrid gash. It looks like they've controlled that. Yeah, I'll keep watching it. Okay, time in. Ring down and say, you're not standing by. Get to the side. You have like 15 more seconds. Come back to the corner. That's what they Huh? Punch! I said punch during the fight. I'm not drinking. Problem with you is booked. Let's see if we can catch the punch right yeah, there. Yeah. Right there. You saw the punch that started the blood flowing. If this is an epilogue not too much, not too much. to Lennox Lewis's career, it is some epilogue. Round four begins. All out war. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? It won't take long, Harold. I'm getting two to one, 29, 28. Vitaly Klitschko. I gave Vitaly the first two. Lennox Lewis definitely the third for the good right hands. They fall down together. Referee Lou Filippo is not going to rule this a knockdown. That's that heavy weight. Lennox Lewis, you keep leaning on you, it's just going to drop you down to the floor. Well, he's only eight pounds more than this guy. Lewis trying to get in another right hand on Vitaly's badly damaged eye. The Lewis comeback in round three was fueled by his landing 17 out of 28 jabs. Vitaly misses with a right hand. 
Lewis barging forward with the jab. Telephone pole. All Lennox Lewis have to do now is stay on the right side. Clisco can't see him out of that eye, the left eye, I'm sorry. Stay on the left eye, he can't even see over on that side. And Lewis jabbing the eye, jabbing the eye. Beginning to regain some of his technical form. Both fighters very tired already. Lewis breathing with his mouth open. Big men have a difficulty fighting at this pace. I'm sorry, but the corner's got to take a good look at this guy's eye. I know it's a world heavyweight title match and all that, but a man has got to see for the rest of his life as well. Are you surprised they didn't stop it, George? I'm very surprised. I'm not surprised at all in a heavyweight championship fight. I think Klitschko is determined to redeem the Klitschko name in terms of his courage and his will. One and shot, he can do it, too. One right hand. Well, I'll tell you what. Win or lose, I don't think anybody's going to say he's heartless again. No, he's got heart. He's not even asking for pity. It's a long ways up there for Lennox Lewis trying to throw that right hand. That right, right hand landed for Klitschko. Lewis blocking that right hand. Vitaly still getting off four punches. And Lennox. Lewis taking advantage of the clinch to pound Vitaly to the belly. And sloppy left hook by Lewis. In close, he brings the right hand over the top and hits the cut again. Left hand right onto the damage die by Lewis. Round four coming to a close. Lewis appears to be really tired. This, we've never seen this Lennox Lewis before. All right, you're coming on good now. He still got that round, but you're coming on good. This man is getting tired. One thing, you're pushing him all the time now. Keep pushing your weight on him all while you're inside the picture. The left hook, if you ever catch him with the left hook, he's going to be going down. Don't stand still so much. You have to move more. Use your left hand more. More power in your left hand. And move quicker. Then we have a look at your eye. Avoid his right hand. And then you use your left hand very quick. And for the first time between rounds, a look in the eyes of Vitaly Klitschko that looked something like discouragement. Surely he knows the danger he's in with his eye that badly cut. But in the fourth round, Klitschko got off 66 punches to only 27 for Lewis. Boy, that is one small referee in there, I tell you. Stop, stop, stop. Klitschko has done an excellent job of staying away from that big overhand right of Lewis, but he's now being hit with some uppercuts inside. He's not afraid of Lennox Lewis. Every time the Lennox Lewis hit him with something, he hits him back. By Lewis. You heard Emmanuel Stewart saying that the left hook could be the punch that would put Vitaly away, and Lennox just landed a monster. But Vitaly comes back with his jab. Let's go momentarily. And good professional work by Lewis against the ribcage as Vitaly takes it, takes it, takes it, takes Seven, it. Eight. And referee Lou Moret just looks on. I don't know how the referee can let that holding and hitting go on. Well, one punch, one hand is open, and you're allowed to do that, George. You cannot hold punching. and hit. If one guy's holding you, they have to break it. Lewis trying to land a haymaker. Whoa. Natalie lands another right hand across the top. And pops Lewis twice with the jab. The difference in energy level still significantly in favor of Vitaly Klitschko, but his eye begins to drain blood again. Lewis is there for him. All he has to do is just take it. Lewis leaning against the ropes as though he's all done in. Klitschko didn't bite. Didn't bite at all. Lennox Lewis is ready to be taken. Klitschko has got to suck it up and become heavyweight champ of the world. 
the conditions for an upset no, 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 no. Rambo, were, uh, were obvious to everybody. Nobody knew whether Vitaly Klitschko had the stuff great, 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 to pull it off. He can still do it. One good right hand, and Lennox Lewis is on the canvas. Well, Vitaly's certainly ahead on points, and the way he's throwing punches, he might stay that way. But can he finish the fight with that eye? Neither, one, neither one looks like he could finish the fight, Jim. No, Lewis doesn't look like he's going to make it to the finish line just on sheer physical energy. But Lewis beginning to sharpen up his punches and landing at a higher and higher rate. Can't do it with the overhand rights tonight. Neither guy can do it with overhand right. They got to come straight down the middle with straight right hand. Well, you got to be sharper than this to be good with the right hand. Lennox is just winging, looping haymaker. Crowd getting their money's worth. Let me see. Let me see your eye. Clean that up. Deep breath. Give him some water. It's not bleeding in there. It's not over time when I come. You need a right uppercut if he's coming at you. Give him a little wow. iron. Clean that up for me. Breathe deep. Ice, Lean back. Ice. Give me some ice. Spokojno. Move to the left. With each passing round, the chance increases that Vitaly Klitschko will see his bid for the heavyweight championship end on that bad left eye cut while he's winning the fight on points. No, 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 no. Lennox Lewis is trying to do it all with one big right hand. His corner told him, throw the left hook, do it. Just throw the right hand and come back with the hook. Between rounds, hard right hand by Vitaly Klitschko. Between rounds, every time the doctor goes into Vitaly's corner, they're pausing the clock. So as long as a minute and a half has been going by between rounds, and that's got to be a help to Lewis, as exhausted as he looks at the end of these rounds. Lennox Lewis is so tired that if Klitschko just hit him with a combination, he'll go down. Lewis flagrantly under condition for the fight, or so it would appear. And Vitaly trying to take advantage through a blinded left eye. Oh, what an uppercut. Oh, it's an uppercut by Lewis. Klitschko holds on. He can no longer see. He's fighting on pure heart, Klitschko is now. Hey, guess what, guys? He can take a punch, too. And he's got heart. That was the kind of uppercut with which Lennox Lewis finished Michael Grant in Madison Square Garden. And he gets one back. Natale with an uppercut of his own. Learning on the job. Lewis jabs him away. Good left hook by Lewis. Solid blow. Lewis exhausted again. But strong enough to fend Vitali off inside. Lewis just has no respect for the power. All of the guys got hit, hitting him hard, he has no respect. He ought to have respect. He was wobbly in round two. But he's got no respect. He hasn't decided I'm going to duck and bounce and, get, and stay out of the way of harm. Stop, 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 stop. The belief of Lewis and his trainer Emmanuel Stewart is that Klitschko has never fought at a pace this feverish and that he can't go the distance. Oh boy, he wasn't for that eye. It's Lewis who's having trouble with the pace. That's right. Well, I can remember when 10 years ago when Evander Holyfield had the same feeling about Riddick Bowe and he wound up losing. It's all Lennox Lewis 
can do to stand up. Not because of Vitaly Klitschko's punches, but because of his own exhaustion. A few program reminders. This Tuesday, it's a new edition of Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. Among the stories, a continuing saga. One year after Ted Williams' death, the controversy surrounding the freezing of his body continues. Each Friday night, look for On the Record with Bob Costas. Bob's guests on this week's show include 300-game winner Roger Clemens and Arnold Schwarzenegger. July 12, World Championship Boxing returns with a rematch between welterweight champion Ricardo Mayorga and the man he unseated, Vernon Forrest. Also that night, Zab Judah faces Demarcus Corley. Chop, chop. And they're stopping the fight. They're stopping the fight as we get out of this promo to tell you that the fight has been stopped because of the damage to Vitaly Klitschko's eye. And Lennox Lewis, in spite of himself, has a successful defense of his heavyweight And fighter. you know I'm happy because this guy showed he's got heart, he's tough, he can come back. But you blow your eye, that's the end of everything. That was a long awaited, they should have done that a little earlier. Klitschko, yeah. is, Klitschko is very upset that they've stopped the fight. <laughs> Yelling no, no, no. He didn't want the fight stopped. Who stopped the fight? Was it the commission? Or was it his corner? Harold Letterman. <laughs> okay, Larry. Dr. Paul Wallace, the chief physician here in California, looked at the cut, went to referee Lou Moret in the middle of the ring, and advised Lou to stop the fight. Lou Moret waved his arms, and it was all over. So it was referee Lou Moret stopping the fight on the advice of Dr. Paul Wallace. And Larry, you know, it's please. not one cut. It was two cuts. There are two cuts under that eye. Larry, to use one of your phrases from a past fight, isn't it fair to say tonight, Lewis wins the fight, Klitschko wins the event? I think, yes, it is, that he won the drama of the fight, and now he has restored the name of the Klitschkos. And he won the crowd as well. You heard the response to the stoppage, almost universal booing in the house. So Vitaly Klitschko bravely stakes his claim to the heavyweight championship and sees it fall short because of the tremendous damage to his left eye. Grotesque. And Lennox Lewis, despite being flagrantly under-conditioned for this assignment, is fortunate enough to hold on to his championship and get the 41st win of his career. You know what? I think it was the extra weight that saved him tonight because after being pounded by Klitschko so many rounds, he kept bumping him and taking the energy out of him. They're fighting now. Yep, there's a tussle in the ring. Let's see if we can hear what's happening. Back up, Wait, Mom. Hey, get him back in the corner. Get him back in the corner. The Klitschko's competitive spirits are boiling over. Both brothers seemingly eager to continue the combat. Now Vladimir is pulling Vitaly back to the ropes and saying, okay, we'll wait our turn. Just say excuse, man. And listen to the crowd response for Vitaly. A triumph of sorts for the Ukrainian giant who was so severely discounted by so many critics. Incidentally, he was leading on all three scorecards, 58-56 at the time of the stoppage. A lucky escape for Lennox Lewis. Let's take a look at how it all happened in round one. Vitaly Klitschko came out busier, more aggressive, and an obviously dry, not yet warmed up Lennox Lewis. Took a while to get it going. Finally got the jab going late in the round. By round two, Vitaly Klitschko's eye was already cut, and the blood was beginning to flow. Lennox Lewis landed a big right hand to cause the cut. By the time of the third round, Lewis was beginning to exploit the cut, and he made it more severe with that bomb over the top. Between rounds three and four, you wondered how the fight could continue given the severity of the gash over Klitschko's eye. But he bravely fought on and continued to lead on the scorecards prior to the stoppage at the end of round six. All three judges 
scoring four rounds for Vitali and two rounds for Lennox Lewis, but Lewis gets the win by TKO. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, after six grueling rounds of heavyweight championship boxing here at Staples Center, Los Angeles, the bout is called to an end. Referee Lou Moret, acting on the advice of Dr. Paul Wallace at ringside, has called a halt to the contest because of severe injuries suffered by Klitschko. The winner, officially at the end of six rounds by TKO victory and still a heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox. Lewis fans, predominant in the house at the beginning, a sigh of relief. For the Klitschko fans, more numerous by thousands now than at the beginning of the night, a gnashing of teeth and regret that a brave and valiant effort didn't amount to a victory. And now the winner and still champ stands by with Larry Merchant. Thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, Lennox. Thank you. You said that he had no skill level and that he had no heart. What do you say now? Well, you know, if the fight would have went more, they should have stopped No, the it. fight didn't go more. What happened in the six rounds? What is your impression of him now? He's okay. Yeah, what, do you want, what do you want me to say? I don't want, I want you to say what you say. It was a much, was it a harder fight than you anticipated? No, not really. You know, I was getting to him. There's no way he could have finished the fight. You look at the state of his face, there's no way. He's lucky the fight was stopped. I was just getting to him and he was just deteriorating anyway. So I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just asking you for your impressions because you seem to dismiss him that he could even compete with you. Well, yeah, of course he can compete with me. That's why he's here in the number one position. Well, I understand you were behind on all the judges' scorecards. Listen, he would have got knocked out the, the next couple of rounds. It was, it was just a matter of time. He was definitely deteriorating. So I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I'm telling and, you what and, the score is. Huh? I'm, not tell, I'm just telling you what the scoring of the officials was. Oh, okay. So, anyway, the, the, referee's, the referee's lucky he stopped the fight. Anyway, look at the state of his face. Would you say now that he has no heart? Well, you know, you would have seen the next couple of rounds. He would have probably. He would, so you he don't would have want probably to give him any credit, it seems. I do. We I do give him credit. He's not. He's in number one position. He's my mandatory. I gave him a chance to fight, and you know, I dismissed him in the sense of, you know, I got to him. Look at the state of his face. What made him difficult to fight? Yeah, you know, he's got a. He's, he's got a. He's got an unusual style, European style. Plus, I only had a week to prepare for it, so you know. He seemed to be able to somehow avoid your big right hand. How did he do that? Well, I, I wouldn't say he avoided them. And uh, yeah, like I said, the next couple of rounds would have told the whole thing. Were you tired? You looked like you were tired as well. Oh, I was just getting my second win, Larry. Were you hurt by a punch in around the second round? It seemed that it shook you a little bit. Were you surprised? Did it wake you up? Yeah, it definitely did wake me up, you know. We're big guys. Any punch from both of us is going to hurt. So, you know, I hurt him a couple of times, even more, than, more times than he hurt me. Was your plan to make it this kind of a, of a brawl because you felt that he had never been in such a fight and that he could not go a distance? He, you know, I still feel he, he cannot go the distance with me. As you can see, he was definitely deteriorating. That's why I was trying to stay close to him and slugging it out, because he's never been in, the, in a dog fight. Most of his fights that I've seen, he's just stayed back and basically jab, did what he wants, and uh, that's what happened. So I, I, my, my plan was just to go in there, dog him, stay close to him, make him throw a lot of punches. I don't like recall I your being in too many dog fights like this. This was a tremendous fight for six rounds. Yeah, I, I, wanted, to be, I wanted to be in a dog fight because I know when the going gets tough, the tough get going. I'm tougher than him. Will you give him a rematch? You know, if it calls for, if the money's right, yeah, definitely. Why do you think the fans were cheering him and booing you at the end? Uh, uh, I wouldn't say that, Larry. You know, you know, I wouldn't really say that. Because, do you think maybe they were just surprised that he fought uh, better than they anticipated and they were cheering for the underdog? 
Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that, Larry. I wouldn't say that. I would say that they like a good fight. The fact that he he, he stuck in there with me for those couple of rounds, I made it a good fight. I think that's what they appreciate. But like I said, if the fight would have went on, he definitely would have retired. I would have knocked him out. It was just a matter of time. I was definitely getting to him. Look at the state of his face. You know, number one, no guy tests. Well, you are the champion. But what, what, what might have happened, we don't know. What did happen, we do know. Thanks. Yes. Lennox thanks. Lewis is the best. I laid them all to rest. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. One, let's go for lunch. Yo, bring on his brother, too. I'll have his brother for that lunch. That was a hard meal to digest, Lennox. Jim? Yeah, I, I digested it good. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, and as Lennox continues to talk in the ring, we'll show you once again the punch that caused the cut. Looked like the side of the glove may have caught Klitschko's eye, causing that big rip, George. That was a punch. You know, you get in the ring, you're going to get hit by those right hands. You're tall, eye level, and he got cut, and it opened big. Yes, it wasn't, so a cheating, wasn't a cheat of any sort. No, first time, not the first time that a fighter has won a fight while losing on the scorecards but because want, he cut up the opponent. It's the best heavyweight title fight I've seen in years. I never expected anything like this. Had a little bit of the drama of George Foreman versus Ron Lyle, yeah. huh? Hey, Larry's standing by with Vitaly. Is that right? That'll be fun to hear. Thanks again, Jim. Vitaly, congratulations on making a great fight. What happened at the end of the sixth round? Was it the doctor who told you that he didn't think you could fight with that eye? I know Lennox Lewis don't have good condition. He's very heavy. It was my strategy to make him tight in the round. You saw he clinched more and more. It's it's head. It's um, it was with head. This guy. You're saying that that he hurt you. He he butted you, uh, or it may have been with the edge of his glove. But could you see through the eye? I see, I see very well. I don't know why this uh, doctor stopped the, the fight. I feel me very well. I can fight. I know. It's Lennox Lewis promised to knock me in five rounds. I know. Why, why you know? Because he don't have condition in five rounds. How could you tell he wasn't in condition? He's very heavy. I saw every punch. He don't punch me very hard. This was not... It's, You know, it's everyone so I'm I'm good prepared for this fight. I I, I take everyone jab. Uh, I, I punch him with, with everyone jab. How were you able to avoid his right hand? Could you see it that easily? Uh, I, you know, you know, it's he not, never one time punch me very hard with his right hand, right, right, right hand, because I saw every punch. I saw every punch. He's a good fighter. He makes great fights. I know in this fight, when doctor don't stop, I win this fight. I win this fight by point, you know. You can see my fight record. I can knock in first round. I can fight this last round and knock him in 11 or 12 rounds. I want rematch. When, when doctor stop, stop the fight, I won't fight again. I show for everybody I can be lose. All right, let's take a look at what happened when your eye was cut, and you describe what you see for us, Vitaly. Oh, this is when you're you're in the corner and it's over. Were you shocked? No, no. I feel when uh, Doctor Tell stopped, it was a bit of breath for me. I, I, I don't, I, I, the question is why? Hi, do you think, do you think, Vitaly, that you redeemed the, the reputation of the Klitschkos by fighting so valiantly with so much courage? Hast du den Ruf der Klitschkos wieder hergestellt, dass du so hart hier gefeitet hast? I, I can fight, I, I fight every, uh, every fight very hard. I have good opponents. It's just one unlucky fight. When I tore my ligament in the shoulder, I can see Chris Bird. I won every uh, nine rounds by point. I lost just one round against Chris Bird. I stopped the fight because I can't fight. It just it was just unlucky fight for me. I, you, you know, I am so disappointed. I'm destroyed with this decision because I, I prepared me for this fight so long time. I wait one year, the chance to fight 
world championship. I, I want to be the world champion. It's happens. I, it's not. It's not a big problem. I can see with, see with the uh, left eyes. I think many of us would like to see a rematch. Thank you for such a great fight. And I think you must have certainly been heartened by the response of the crowd here at the end of the fight. It's, I want to thank you. I want to say thank you very much for audience here in the in the Staples Center because everybody. Um, support me in this fight and I want a match. I want a match and let Lewis, I, I beat him. I know that. Thank you so much. Thank you for a great fight again. Jim? All right, Larry Merchant. Well, uh, George Foreman, you said that if Vitaly won the fight, you wanted to come out of retirement and fight him. So that should be a rematch.